Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dex Sundays. In this episode, we are going to compare two Dex functions. That means we are going to compare distinct count versus distinct count no blank. One of them doesn't consider the null values or the blank values while another does. So let's see how to use them and, and how you can take advantage of these two Dex functions while performing or creating your measures for different reports and dashboards. Distinct count versus distinct count non blank. Distinct count would give you counts the number of distinct values in a column and its syntax is pretty simple. You can see on your screen. It says first you have to write your dex function name, then you have to write the column name because it's gonna operate on a column name. You need a column name in order to get the distinct count from that. If you would like to divide it further, you can get first the distinct values from a column name and then you can count the number of rows as you can see on your screen. Currently I'm using dex.do website, it's pretty good. I have mentioned in my so many previous dex examples as well that always try to use it because over here if you will select any dex function on the right hand side you can get the complete description of it, what function is it, what is its definition, how to use it, what's gonna be the return values etc. This is an amazing website you would get over here the complete data model as well if you want to try your dex functions over there so please feel free to use it now over here i'm defining couple of measures for example number of customers number of names country one and country two over here we are just going to run it so let's see the output over here i can drag it up and here you can see that for the different continents that is Asia, North America and Europe I have the number of customers this but the number of names because it's going to give me the distinct count on the customer names it's different than number of customers. Currently we have just seen the distinct and the count or in overall we have seen the distinct count with the help of this measure. Main motto of this video is to show you whether distinct count is calculating the null values or the blank values or not for that we are gonna go into our another page where I have this code here I'm using both text functions over here you can see this is the distinct count and another is the distinct count no blank so over here we are going to use these both text functions and we will see whether distinct count no blank is ignoring the null values or not by the definition it simply says it's going to count the number of distinct values in a column. So definition is same for distinct count no blank and distinct count. However, you should note that distinct count no blank is not going to consider any blank values. The number of blank values in a column ignoring the blank value, that's it's going to be the return value over here. Also, if you would like to divide it further, you can divide it into distinct count and the non blank like we divided the distinct count into distinct and the count rows similarly you can divide this text function too from this code you can see that first we are checking the number of stores where we are counting the number of rows then we are checking the distinct count text function where we are calculating the managers with the blank rows and then with the non blank rows and then at last we are counting the blanks so let me run this code and see the output over here as soon as I run this code, I can find out that manager with no blanks are 5 and then manager with blank are 5 for Asia. However, over here you would notice that manager with blank are 8 for Europe and then North America is 40 while it's one less than as compared to manager with blank in case of manager with non blank because with no blank I'm using distinct count no blank while managers with blank I'm using only distinct count function which you can see over here with these lines of code so guys that's the basic difference between using distinct count and distinct count no blank if your aim is to calculate the blank values as well or if you would like to consider the blank values then please use the distinct count text function and if you would like to ignore the blank values then always use distinct count no blank please let us know if you have any questions or concern also, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI updates and videos. See you in the next video.